Now Haley is going to do the salon version of your favorite love story on Beth's nails. Yes, so I'm going to take it back from uh, last year, the challenge around this, this time of year last year was your favorite love story gone wrong. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to necessarily depict the gone wrong part. No. Nope. But we're just going to pick our favorite elements from that because Beth loved them. She's a history buff. I am. So the Cleopatra and Mark Antony love story is like her jam. I so love it. So that's why I was like, this is perfect. We're yep. going to do it. She yep. loved it so much. And I think you said it on that live. You're like, I personally love this I story. I love that story. <laughs> and I, I love the like, nails. And I love the nails. <laughs> I was like, she likes my stuff. Oh. So Haley, is this your favorite love story? What's your favorite love story? My favorite love story? See, I gotta, I gotta think about that one. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. What's one like the first one that comes to the top of your head? Disney ones. Yeah. Uh, which ones? Which one? Beauty and Beauty the, and the Beast. Beast. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Beauty and the Beast. So I'm just wiping her nails with Clean It, and just to make sure. That there is no fuzzies or anything. I'm just gonna brush them off really quick. You know why I'm happy you're doing this set on me? Why? Because I think one of my great love stories is mm -hmm. nails. <gasps> right? Oh. And the competition, especially. I love the competition. It's so I'm just gonna me. go straight no. in yeah. with I'm Not Tacky because that's the primary top coat that I use. And when I add a glitter, to say like these sculpts, we're gonna leave this background color, right? So I'm just going to create a simple gradient on six of her nails over her 10 nails because we're trying to make this simple right. and salon style. Because right. I can't wear a next top right. nail artist set of nails out the and, door. And this is right. actually hard for me, you guys. And we I want our nail techs to be able to do this in their salon. Yeah. So you can right. take inspiration, inspiration from the 3D designs right. through this competition. Right. Right. And like actually like translate that to a salon Absolutely. style set. Right. So we're gonna do that today. I like to just like pour it and sprinkle it into I'm not tacky. So here we are. I'm just gonna go one more time because in my mind it makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you cap the edges, otherwise peeling will happen. We don't like that, right? No. Also, peeling. that's why I dehydrated and made sure there is no fuzzies. So I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush and like lightly tap. And it looks like I'm literally doing nothing, but that's the point. <laughs> because when you're trying to get that gradient going up, you don't want it like a heavy line. And that's where people mess up. They'll make the heavy line and then there's no turning back and then you make the whole nail glitter. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna lightly tap there, right? It looks like nothing. No, it looks beautiful. So then I'm just gonna grab something to scoop. I'm gonna back up a little bit so it doesn't fall back in there. Disinfect that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do that seriously? You know what? So we're starting over. This is real life, guys. I ask my clients, I do this in real life. They're like, Haley, I'm like, you love me and you deal with me because nails are pretty. So we'll do it one more time. He even even style influencers for nails, Tammy Taylor nails. <laughs> we make mistakes, okay? Things happen. You're a human and, being. And um, yeah, human beings make mistakes. So I'm going to, once again, <laughs> lightly tap. I really love how there's like random, slightly bigger, yes, glitters in here that are hollow. Yeah, I do a lot of, when I'm doing the glitters, I like to do a lot of different glitters. Mm -hmm. For that dimension. For the, yeah, to give all the dimensions. Love so it. you can have all the way from tiny to big. With all so different now colors. I'm going to do this and not mess up, right? I'm just going to grab a little and I'm going to pour it just on the tip. So beautiful. Just so, right? It's like the easiest ombre ever. Easiest. And you just, you keep going until you're satisfied. And I like that you're doing the ombre because in the challenge last year, you kind of had that the tan mm -hmm. and the red. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like a nice way to make 
a, a client kind of get that effect. Right. But like and it's wearable. Right. It's right. Right. wearable. Right. 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 And and on top of that, when you when you offer a gradient to a client, it's cheaper than most nail art. Exactly. And and they're easier. like, okay, I'll just take it because it's easier and, and it's, it's faster and it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. So and they'll like fun. you. Yeah. Most of them, they'll be like, oh, I'll just get plain nails. And what if? Okay, this is what I do to my clients. Tell us. You guys. <laughs> Tell us. Stick it. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite. She loves my, my favorite, my favorite. But um, I'm gonna make them match from side to side. Okay. I'll be your assistant. You I'll be guys. I will hold your television. Living the dream. <laughs> Living the dream. We are. I'm just gonna add in that my hotel has glitter in the driveway. What? Yeah, the, the pavement has glitter yeah, in it. It has glitter. Yes. Blows my mind. Every, we went out every there time and... I come to California, my mind is blown. I'm such a noob. We went out there and paved it for you. <laughs> I know, right? We got it ready for you, Haley. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Tammy just went out there and just <laughs> she brought all her she her No, she didn't even bring like anything. She graced the she pavement with her presence and walked, walked on it, on. and there was magically glitter. I bet. I just bet. rose up out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's so believable, though. It is, though. <laughs> so I'm just going to wipe again. I love the way you do this. I mean, it's, it's so, so tedious and time-consuming, but worth it for the effect. Yeah, but not really that time-consuming. Because if you're, but if you're in a salon, you can charge for this. How right. much would you charge for this? That's a great question. Um, three dollars a nail. Good. See, that's wonderful. Good. So Good. generally, okay, you're like, okay, if they do all the nails, it's thirty. I just do twenty. I cut ten dollars off because okay. it's the same thing, and I'm like, because you're doing the gradient on all ten, right? right. And it's like I don't have to change it up, right. and I'm just doing the same thing, right. so I just keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Oh, and this is something that everyone can do. Exactly. Right. This is so easy. Like and I'm not even about to put this it. on a on a yeah, video this, alone. Yeah. This the, the clients love this. This is money. Absolutely. Right. So this is fabulous. Thank you so much, Haley. This was a great. It. <laughs> I, cure it. I don't know if I ever. <laughs> I don't know if I ever told you why I say stick it. Have I? No. <laughs> I don't know why I say stick it. I don't know why. I think it's because my clients in the beginning like were not listening to me, and I'm just like, can you like hear it? And they just didn't. So I'm just like, stick it, stick it in. <laughs> I love it. Or like when they're in their phone or something, and like you know, like not paying attention. I'm like, stick it, stick it. <laughs> hey, and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, you stick it in. They're like, what are you supposed to say? Place your hand in the lamp, or, and then I can't just like, no one listens to me, so I'm just. <laughs> I'm not Tammy. I can't just have someone pay complete attention to me all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I just say stick it. I like you can't take it. It now. sounds like super ratchet. I feel no. like what? So you? So ever since then, you've been like paying attention to what I people are saying. So what are people are saying? Such, people say you know cook it, which is maybe not no. correct. Cure it, or you know they'll guide me. I feel people. That's what Tammy does. She guides mm -hmm. you. Oh, that's like, what most people oh, do. They like, guide like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I just or like cure. that. Stick it. Yeah. <laughs> Someone says, I love this. What is your favorite nail shape? My favorites are tapered square and almond stiletto. Any advice Perfect. for reducing time with the application of acrylic? You need to stick to four balls every time you do nails and practice on your practice sheet. 50 nails a day. Send them in and I'll give you a free gift. 50 oh. practice nails, I send them more liquid and powder so it never costs them anything to practice. Oh my God, that's yeah, so great. Yeah, get them every day. Oh, cool. This person says, what is the most iconic Tammy Taylor product? Iconic. I know. Iconic. What? Your acrylic. 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 I think we all know what my most iconic product is. Acrylic! <laughs> yes! Love that. Awesome. I couldn't help but yes. laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> That needs to be like on your feet. I know, that's like a meme. That's like a meme. That oh, is a meme. It starts out so snobby. And it's so not your personality. I know, so I know they're like, like what? They're gonna like. No, that is her personality. Yeah, they just don't know. This one says, what inspired your passion for nails when you first began your career? I was a nail biter and I wanted to make every nail biter's nails beautiful. 
Okay, Tammy's new social media is real. I know, you can do the nails social media. You can do the nails social media. I was a nail biter. I don't know why. I run like one St. Patrick's Day. I just painted my nails green and stopped biting them. It was so weird. I would eat through polish all the time. Yes. I would just one time. Nibble them down to nubs. Yeah. Well, I didn't make them bleed, but they were nubs. Like if there was any white, had to go. All that free edge had to go. All the free edge. That I Yeah, right. And I had a whole clientele of nail biters. Because oh. I knew how to do nail yeah. biters. Yeah. yeah, and you like understand that you mm -hmm. really can't help it. And then a yes. lot of nail biters. I never would do tips because I, as a nail biter, knew that the, my most favorite thing in the world was to crunch a tip. Mm. You're you, serious. Yeah, because yeah. if they put, if I had somebody put tips on me, I would just sit there and crunch all the tips oh off. Mm. The only thing I couldn't get off is acrylic. Oh, and so, so I became an acrylic girl. Yep. Love it. We're going to do a snake. In a healthy amount. Can we see that? Uh huh. Yes, can we can. See it. What kind of brush are you using? This is one of Tammy's new brushes, and this is the one of the sides of the liner brush. So this one um, is longer than the other side. The other side is like really small and tiny for like really really small detail work. But since I want to pick more product up to actually make the body of this snake, I'll, I'll use this side. This is generally the side that I use for every design anyway. I'll use the other side if I feel like this one isn't good enough, but this one's good for almost everything. Mm. So when, like, these are in my cup at the, when I'm working, like, it's, I never use that side. And I don't like putting the cap back on. So I just, like, it's in the cup like Got this. Got it. And same thing with this one. I seldomly lose, use that side, but this side I use on every single service for cleanup. So I'll keep both of these in the cup with these up, and this is just what I, I do. Like your and then and then this right. one I use the the bigger side as well, and I keep that one without the cap in the cup. So these are like all my caps are in the drawer for, oh, and I only put them back on when I travel, like when I travel to do nails. That's the only time I put them back on. They're gonna be so pretty. I know. I like all the gold. I do too. I yeah, the really gold over this Gilded. pink, like I'm kind yeah. of shook, and I'm yeah. gonna do this to someone when I go home. I'm shooketh. One of my clients says that. And you're gonna outline in black the yes. designs, okay? <laughs> so how long did it take you to do a set of nails for the competition? Like, what was the average amount of time you were spending on, like, on doing the on competition executing, nails? executing the design? So, uh, generally for the more extensive sets, I spent anywhere from um, 12 hours to like 16 hours. Yikes. I'm generally in 12 to 16 hours. Okay. Um, and that's me, like, I don't take breaks. I barely wow. eat. I'll like, I'll let my dog just out get them to pee, done. and yeah. I just I have to get them done because I I pressure myself and crunch time it because I'm like I have to go edit this video right, after this right. so I'm I'm getting it done. Got it. I like that. I go love ahead and cheer that. Him. Oh yeah. So and this gonna... set will not take twelve to sixteen no. hours. Which is no, great. this most which definitely. Is this yeah, is a exactly, quick set, right? and I love this the design. Something that, yeah. that our nail artist can do at home. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna do this or not at home at, in the salon. In the salon. In the salon. At home on there now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. this is my home. That's true. Yeah, that's exactly. True. The salon is home. The salon is like, yeah. do we even go home? Yeah. No. Because it's not even work, remember? No, because nails, nails are, are always fun, fun and never feel like work. work. See, we just do that randomly because I don't know. <laughs> so you both are on video a lot. And I think a lot of nail techs, they don't feel comfortable on camera. So like, what's your advice for seeing yourself on camera or like filming your own videos or appearing on a video? Like, what's your advice? Don't look at the remarks. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Just don't look at it because if you can go on video and just have fun and not care what people think, just do it because you love it and you, right. and that even if there's just one person out there that can get something really awesome off of what right. you're doing right then that's all you want totally you know you don't have to make everybody happy yeah but if you can make that one person like make their day and make them just like feel like they love their job right that's what i do that's wonderful and i just i never look at the remarks
Perfect. Good advice. Good advice. <laughs> it's true. And I mean, I don't understand, with like comments, I don't understand how people can criticize someone for being happy and excited. Right. It really just shows like, Wait, it's not Wait, is you. that yeah. what people are saying? No, I mean, I just in general. Like, okay. You know, you know, just in general, like on anybody's. Yeah, you know, on anybody. Just, but don't, don't look at the remarks. Anybody, don't look at them. Because, you know, you're just going to have people like that. Just... Do it with love. Exactly. It's like when Haley and I, we do videos, it's with love. You know, it's to like go, okay, we have a nail artist technician out there that maybe you're having a little rough day and you put on one of our videos and you go, oh my gosh, I love doing nails. And mm -hmm. it gets you excited and you just want to go and do nails. Right, right. And that's really my whole motivation is to give you that excitement. And so, and that's Haley also is to just give you the excitement. Wonderful. Yeah. We were in the girls' room and we had a heart to heart earlier. Do you remember? Yes. Do you want to tell them what you said to me? Cause like I was like, more. We were, we were talking about we're so hard on ourselves. Yes, we are. And I said it took me up until now at 55 to finally realize this. When I was younger, like let's say I was like 23 or 24, I would go, oh my gosh, you know, I'm too chubby. My, you know, my face doesn't, this doesn't look right, or my, my hair, hair doesn't look right. Mm -hmm. And then I would be the next year at 25, I'd look back and go, oh my gosh, I actually look pretty good. <laughs> and then I would be like tearing myself apart at 25 going, oh my goodness, you see like this little cellulite or this little this or little that. And then at 26, I'd look back and go, oh my gosh, you looked good. Why were you tearing yourself apart? Right. And then I would con I continued with that every year. And Haley was saying she does the same thing. And she's only 27. And I'm like, Haley, you're beautiful. Right. I said, and when you're 28, you're going to look back and you're going to go, oh my gosh, I'm I was beautiful at 27. Why was I so hard on myself? And so I think that now, at my age, finally I figured it out. Just love yourself and oh. just say, I'm beautiful right Wonderful. now, Wonderful. you know, and that's, and that was, it was really fun, huh? It's an important yeah. message. Yeah. And like, it is like blowing my mind that I just have like heart to hearts with Tammy in her bathroom. Good. <laughs> about stuff like that. And like when, when she talks to you about that kind of stuff and you know, you're my age and where you, where I am in my life, like you have chills. You're like, oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> So I like to kind of like, you know, go like that because when you're doing fine nail line, like, like line art, you don't want a big ball on the end of this. Cause if you get a big ball on the end of this, it's just going to be like, and it's just going to like flood all over your design. So you gotta, you know, cause you know, if I dip it straight into the pot, you know, try to get a little bit off and go look at it. It's all wonky and like there's too much product on mm -hmm. the end. So you really have to be conscious of how much product you have on your brush when you're applying it. You do beautiful lines. I love her lines. Such beautiful that's what lines. I, that's what I think attracted I me. think that's what everyone says. Remember when um, they were filming during the cover shoot? Yeah. Who was filming, Kim? Yeah. She was like, I don't even understand how you Fan do burger. your lines like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. She was, and I'm just like, and she's don't so you many always nail film nail yeah. artists? But honestly, like, I, I get it also smoother too because I'll roll the nail with it. Like, if you oh. notice, like, here, I'll do uh -huh. it. Here, I'll do it. And I'm going to show you real quick. I'm just going to, like, get this clean it right here. Okay, guys? I'm going to take this 3D brush. And I'm just going to clean up a little bit because I don't like how how it got right there. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Nice. Ugh. That's fun. My that wife. is a great little pointer yeah. right there. Yeah. Right? And even if you take too much away, you can always, you know, go back and add. add a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So let me do... These snakes are always kind of tedious, but it's like worth it in the end. If you get it evenly spaced, because they're so cute. It looks so, so I like it. So watch as I that. roll the nail. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to roll the nail with it. Right. And that's what's making my lines smoother. And if you're, if you're having trouble with your lines and you're like making them all weird. And you're trying to roll it. 
once you get to that point, say you're going across and you get to that point where you're like, oh, I think it's going to it's gonna get weird. Just pick your brush up and stop. Just stop and just be patient with it. Be patient with it and really pay attention to what you're doing. See? See? You see that? I can't put that on there. Too much. Too much. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yes. Literally, I, I talk to myself when I do nail art no, on my clients. Good. And I'll be like, yeah, that's what we want right there. And they love it. <laughs> okay, what do you think Tammy's favorite music is? She answered this earlier. Hip-hop. Did uh, you? Final answer? No, well, no, I just feel like that would surprise me. <laughs> oh, she was trying to say oh, something so surprising. <laughs> okay, she's a smart guesser. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tammy's favorite band of all time is Rolling Stones. Oh, I love, okay, yes. I love Rolling Stones. I love and Rolling And could you awesome. imagine, like, Tammy, no, don't, 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 are you going to their concert don't. soon? I am. Sorry, yes. Oh, where? Yes. Yeah, at the, uh, is it the Forum? That's a good one. Your uh -huh. favorite, Tammy's yes. favorite band. Classic yeah, vinyl. I, like that. I love I like, classic vinyl. I like that. Yeah, I yes. wouldn't have known that about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my favorite kind of movies? Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hallmark. <laughs> Everyone's a Hallmark yes. fan. It's like I Christmas. Yeah. I, I watch every single Hallmark. I think a lot of people, that's like their guilty um, like addiction around the holidays. Because like my it. uncle watches. Mine's Lifetime. And I yes. mine is Lifetime. Because the movie. extra drama. I like all the Hallmark <laughs> romance. Oh, oh my There was that one Christmas where all the sappy Hallmark movies were on. And Tammy yes. Tammy like a pound of fudge. <laughs> And did you think when you started doing nails at 18, like, that this, was this is what's going to happen? Like, this is nuts. Making movies, meeting celebrities, well, making videos. <laughs> well, making movies. Movies. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, no, you got you to make your movie. Jack's going to film it and have a, mu <gasps> a musical score. Do it. <laughs> do it. He's going to totally it right do here. it. I love that. They're so hard to do, I'll be honest, because it, it takes patience to do these. Cause to get them spaced, like this is me doing this design over and over to see the easiest way to do it. That's me pulling down this side and then starting the other side so I can get even lines. Got it. On both sides. Got it. Right. So instead of like going here, here, it here, and then. It looks like a decal. Mm -hmm. It does. It's that perfect. It does. So I just try to line up these and that'll just, that'll make everything else fall into place. Mm -hmm. So really like when you're trying to make symmetrical designs, you got to really pay attention to your spacing. And that's like, if you if, like the very first lines you make, if they aren't perfect, erase them because those lines oh, throw the all of the other ones the off. Got it. So that's why like, I like erase those other lines. I'm not even going to do these because I know that I can do it better this way. You know, I also like this design because a lot <gasps> like a of, right. A lot of um, <laughs> Korean architecture has this same Love pattern. It. I charge people eight dollars just for you this line. Should. Oh, just yeah, for line. Should. Line by itself. I think that's another question that a lot of techs have. How much do you charge? To charge for art, because it varies. It, and then people so feel guilty much. to charge for art. Yeah. And um, sometimes I feel guilty because I'll like, like I'll, I'll go crazy on a client, and sometimes I'll add some things that they didn't ask for because it needed. Well, it. then those shouldn't be. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't exactly. charge those. But sometimes when I add it up and I see how far they got because they wanted the more crystals. I'm not going to $20 off or something, but that's like if they're a very loyal client. If it's somebody new, oh. But you charge for all your nail art, though. Yeah, So you're time. not giving away anything. No, I'm not, no, I'm not you giving it away. You might do a bonus. 
Yeah, like but you don't for Christmas like, you or maybe it it's free. their birthday or something. Like if right. I feel like they deserve it, I'll just knock a little bit off. But that's just me. That's just me. Like I like being generous. But a lot of nail technicians, they'll just do the whole thing for, for free. free. Exactly. You can't don't do, do that. that. No. Don't do that because no. what I they'll tell everyone the standard, else, and you can't do that. The standard is a yeah. dollar a minute. Or more, but a dollar a minute is like a good little uh, mm -hmm. average, start. yeah, to start to kind of get an idea. That's great for beginning people to know. Mm -hmm. And the way you can figure out how many minutes it takes to do a design, do your design on your nail tip mm -hmm. and time practice yourself. Practice it, like, time it. You know, see time how long. it, practice it, and see how long it takes. And, and then you'll takes, get faster. And Yeah, absolutely. And when you get faster, you can it's still speed. charge yeah, that yeah, amount exactly, of money, exactly. but it's not going to take you a whole 10 minutes. I bumped minutes. it. Just kidding. <laughs> I would just leave. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I was about to say you're getting no. a gradient on this now. <laughs> to make this snake look more round, don't do straight lines, guys. You gotta make them like slightly curved, all in the same direction to make him look slightly 3D, just slightly. Because if you do the straight lines, he'll look really generic. I've heard so many nail professionals tell me that though that like their parents discourage them from being doing, nail art or from art nail, nail techs. Nail, nail te artists. Oh no! Once I became a nail, because like I've I told better. her, and she was like, "Yeah, you can do that, but you're gonna go to school for something else after, right?" And I was like, "Sure," because I knew I wanted to do nails when I started doing nails. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. And um, like once I found out I had that passion. I was like, I have to go get licensed before I mess this up. Like, I have to go get licensed. So when she knew that I wanted to go to school for it, you know, she was she was all for it because it's me trying to do something with mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. And then after that, when she saw, like, my very quick success or whatever you want to call it. It was. It was a quick success. <laughs> like, and, you know, like, I got put on the map a really early. to the top. And, like, the top, yeah. yeah, I, like, progressed, like, extremely fast. So people were like, well, what's going on? What did she do? So they asked me all the time, like, how long have you been doing nails? Four years? Quit lying, I'm not. But And you were doing amazing nails. Yeah, like even after immediately. Months. Immediately. Oh, right. But I already had, like, an artistic right. background. Right. I've and never taken how... class. I've just always kind of You're been gifted. artsy. Yeah. Right. Like, I would get in trouble in elementary school. They, like, take my gel pens. Aww. Because all you did wanted to do was draw. And, yeah, while they're like talking. <laughs> but you know, I draw when I hear lectures and I remember the lectures. So like people learn differently. Visual learner. And you right. can't just like take my gel pens. Because <laughs> like then I got to call my mom to come get them and she's going to rip me a new one. So then I'm just going to come and recess and get them back really quick. Sorry, guys. I love. That looks I so love good. It. You. So I like the kind of salon version shortcut you're giving people where, because for this theme, it's love story. And we were talking like there's more, it's more likely there's going to be people on this set of nails mm -hmm. because it's a love story. So mm -hmm. most people right. think of other people or characters or historical figures, mm -hmm. but Haley's cutting down on time by not doing the people, which I think right. is brilliant. And a lot of um, yeah. nail artists, it's hard to do a face. Faces are the They're hardest so difficult. thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this okay. is really fun. Right. And you know it's Cleopatra. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. So she just took elements kind of from mm -hmm. that era and that set. Right. It's perfect. Beth, what's your favorite love story? She, um, Haley actually asked me that, and I was like, that's, that's tough. But I was thinking after, you know, I love Great Gatsby. Mm -hmm. like I, I'm a, I have a oh, literature degree, so uh -huh. that's why I always think about books. So I love that love story between Gatsby and Daisy. And, like, the Art Deco. Mm -hmm. um, that's another one that went wrong, though. <laughs> I, think, I think there's something about when it goes wrong, you feel that much more drawn to it. Cause they couldn't yeah, make but your it. favorite love story, it could be, it doesn't matter if it right. went wrong, you can right. still be but your they favorite, had. right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tammy, now do you want to say something that you think that... No one knows about you. No one knows about you. I'm a tomboy. <laughs> Lies. 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 And growing up, I um, I actually was a tomboy talk growing about up. I'm going to that one in a minute. I, uh, I love to I surf. I need it for now. I grew up in Huntington Beach, so of course... 
Surf City, USA. I can't believe you surfed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I surfed. Crazy. I'd get up at like five o'clock yeah, in the morning. So early. Yeah, five o'clock in the morning, be yeah. freezing. Go down there yeah. and you wear like the whole suit. I'd wear a wetsuit at that early in the morning. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah put on People my wetsuit. Never wear wetsuits. Five thirty. What's the tallest in the water. wave? What's the tallest wave you ever caught? Well, Huntington Beach, we have pretty good waves. Yeah. yeah. So probably I didn't go on the really huge ones. Okay. So I would probably say six to eight feet. That's still crazy. Max. That's crazy. Like max. Mammy Taylor yeah. is like surfing yeah. on yeah. eight yeah. foot waves. <laughs> and I like to skateboard. Yeah. What? Don't don't drown mm -hmm. off this wave, you know, like. And I, but I always loved nails, always. I I never really wore. Even a though lot. you didn't wear them. Yeah, well. She had bit them off. Oh, that's yeah, right. I, well, I that's get, right. Put them on, bite them off, of course. But I love nails, even though I was a little bit of a tomboy. Yeah. And I didn't never really wore a lot of makeup until I got probably in my maybe nineteen twenty. I started wearing like makeup. I usually just wore like mascara. But I love nails. That's amazing. Yeah. So I would get my nails done even if I didn't do like a lot of makeup or anything. Always love to have my nails and done. And you always wear French or have you ever worn something like uh, drastically different? It blows no, my mind when I she has I any have kind of embellishment. Wore French. I just <laughs> okay. always okay. loved French. Like okay. always. the embellishment is like the only extra thing I think. Okay. Like sometimes yes. you'll have like a little like a little yeah, just like or something yeah, like I'll put there. like a little rhinestone okay. or. I mean, I like yeah. the fade. I, yeah, love, I, love, I love the fade. The fade. Yeah, yeah. That's I love cool. the fade. It's so cool. Yeah, the fade is really fun. Okay. Yeah, so uh, nails was my real girly thing. I'm like digging the simplicity of these, but they're I... not simplistic, but they are. Right. They're be but they're they what? tell a whole story. And you can rep people can replicate them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the main Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think people could replicate those lines. Yeah. They, could they could stamp them. Yeah, they could yeah. stamp it. But they could get the idea. Yeah, exactly. And the way okay. you did like the little fade and yeah. everything. So beautiful. <laughs> thank you for coming to our nail party. Ooh, thank you. And remember, at, at Tammy, Tammy Taylor, Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.